Yo, I got so trashed the same night I got the Pfizer vaccine. It was great. I got the vaccine. I swear I, was I, like, felt... I don't think that's I'm like that's not the case. I was like <laughs> I was like, you gotta wait for that to take effect. And that's still two of them. I asked the nurse specifically, can I get trashed tonight? And she said, Yeah, feel free to. We lost a lot of people. <laughs> we lost a lot of people during uh, the last time we recorded. Jerry Stiller died in twenty twenty. That's uh, right, Jerry One Stiller. of Austin's favorite drummers, unfortunately, Joey passed Jordison, away. Joey Jordison, rest well. in peace. Yeah. DMX, Rough Riders anthem. Yep. I remember da, 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 DMX da. went to. DMX died. We'll never know if he was gay. But if he was, which he wasn't. But if he was, which. which but if he did. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll have to read his book if he did do the gay. I guess it's true. Look for the uh, unofficial. The unofficial book. <laughs> yeah, the unofficial uh, biography of, of a Mr. DMX. I'll be honest, I put a cradle to the grave on. Like a few times in honor of DMX. Yeah, you did that drum thing. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh no, I have to. No, I for, uh, the for other Joey. Guy, for the other guy. I, sorry, I, I, sorry. I need to do one for DMX. Yeah. No. Do you ever? Who ever seen Cradle to the Grave? Franny. Uh, I with, have. Seen with it, DMX yeah. and Jet Li. And I, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, do you ever notice how Jet Li says every single line the same exact way? <laughs> the same exact way he says every single line. Like, I have not we have to it. find diamonds. Do you know the bad guy? What's Jet Li? You have son. I have daughter. <laughs> What's Jet Li been up to? <laughs> Just uh, being Jet Li. Right. I mean, I know they're making another Expendables movie, so oh he's my probably fucking doing Christ. that. <laughs> no, because he, he wasn't... You know what's funny? Jet Li was heavily promoted in uh, Expendables 2. He was only in there for like two minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice glasses, Jet Li. <laughs> I'm looking him up right now to see what he's up to. Oh, there's actually a YouTube video that says, What the fuck happened to Jet Li? <laughs> <laughs> and it, who's Joe Blow videos? Joe Blow videos. That's his name, Joe Blow videos. I wonder if he blows a lot in those videos. <laughs> Only occasionally. <laughs> Only occasionally. <laughs> Only when he feels like it. <laughs> Joe Blow videos. Let's see here. Joe Blogan. Oh, he does movie review. It's a movie review channel. What the fuck happened? What the fuck really happened to Goodfellas? What the fuck happened to Suicide Squad? Oh, here's a good one. What's he mean? What the fuck happened to Suicide Squad? James Gunn directed the sequel and it was good. What the fuck happened to Kristen Dunst? Kirsten Dunst? Kirsten Dunst, yes. Because the fucking parents were fucking stupid and and thought that the eye came first. (laughs) Who the fuck is Jonathan Taylor and why do we care about him? Jonathan Taylor Thomas? I think so. John, yeah. John Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, he's from he's from he's from he's from uh, Home Improvement. He, oh, he played uh, Simba in the Lion, in King, Lion King, the original. Yeah, Lion yeah, King. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. Yeah, he does movie reviews and shit. And, and I'm gonna watch that one on Jet Li because I do want to know what the fuck happened. To Jet we'll Lee. put it on right now. <laughs> I know. No, I'm gonna watch it right now while we're recording. We're <laughs> it just play it out of the background. <laughs> no, we're just gonna change this into a Jinx video where we just watch the whole video, don't say anything, and pass it as our own content. Uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, hey, we're Jul- just gonna say it's a reaction video. Hey Julian. Oh, God. Any um. Any fun stories you're okay with sharing uh, from your job? Any Karens? Oh boy, there's there's this one uh, where uh-huh. um, we had someone come in with uh-huh. their two kids, and uh, <laughs> we, we told them like it was it was literally just four days after the mandate had changed the, uh, that everyone had to wear masks in, indoors again. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, once one. we told them, it was like, hey, you got to wear a mask. We, we we give you like three of them right now. And she goes, I got to wear a mask now. And she just straight up leaves her right, right off the bat. <laughs> calls her kids over, goes right out the door. Gonna, doesn't say a word. Come on, we're going to EB Games. Yeah, right. <laughs> they know how to treat people. <laughs> no. <laughs> kids, we're leaving right now. These are enemies of QAnon. We're getting out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to GameStop Nintendo, now. N- Nintendo 64, we're going to get the Commodore 64 instead. <laughs> Yo, kids, we're going to go storm the Capitol. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Someone actually got a... Uh, well, yeah, they got tried and fined, and then now convicted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the capital oh, for a dumb yeah. Man mistake. Yeah, yeah, that was that was. We I, the here, here's here's my definition of storming the capital. It's just Project X gone wrong. And another thing. Oh, okay. oh God, Project X. <laughs> Pro, it's Project I remember that X movie. Gone wrong. <laughs> Dude, I have to watch that movie again. It's been a long time. To the break of dawn, yo. <laughs> that one guy reminds me of you. <laughs> Dude, remember when like when that movie came out and everybody like wanted to all of a sudden party like that movie? Did they, no, they wanted I, to I, recreate I, it. It's a funny. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because after that movie came out, a guy tried to to do a party just like that and somebody died. Oh, oh yeah, geez. that's actually sad. No, there was one time that they were gonna do it at an abandoned house and the cops busted it. 
And the kids kept coming by, and the cops would be like, "Why do you keep coming in the house?" Because we they would a party, say, dude. All they would say is Project X. <laughs> Project X. <laughs> Project was it, was, X. Was, 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 that sounds like was brainwashing. This, was this teenager's honestly. name Logan Paul? <laughs> like cult, right? It sounds like a really it sounds like, bad. Cult. It sounds like this teenager's name was Logan Paul. Probably. That was probably before, like, or he was the the teacher. <laughs> you know, Logan Paul has a movie called airplane mode that he wanted to call airplane but they didn't call it airplane and he was very upset about it oh, yeah yeah he shows it like the trailer to his parents and he's like so fucking mad <laughs> he's so fucking hurt that it's not called airplane mom and dad isn't this bullshit i forgot what the movie we, we agree, I, for, son. I forgot what the movie was about but i know it's just about logan paul uh wanting to go to something so him and his fucking autistic gang go on an airplane to God. uh to fucking go to this convention or something and everybody <laughs> everybody acts like a bunch of fucking idiots in it. They have Nick Swartz in it. Poor Nick Swartz is in this shit. And then Logan Paul's like, look at ha ha, this is just so funny. Get it? This is so funny. I even put I even put the hide your kids, hide your wife guy in here. And that's like fucking 20 years late. Anything to stay relevant. Dude, when the Black Panther came out, uh, the sister literally makes a joke, uh, makes a "What are those?" joke. And I remember I cringed like so hard. Oh my gosh! During the during Dur- Black in the, Panther in the, scene. In, the, in the in the scene of Black Panther, yeah, she's like, "What are those?" Yeah. And I was like, "Ah." They do. Oh. They do try to incorporate that, dude. You know. I was I was cringing real bad. That scene made me shut off the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you just no. shut it off. No, no, I still, no, I watched, watched it later in the night, but I turned it off for a few minutes. <laughs> you dick, yeah. you just like shut it off with your family. No, I like... was watching it by myself because I didn't tell you about that when I went to go see um, Endgame. Yep. So the last movie, the last Marvel movie I saw before Endgame was uh, Captain America: Civil War. Sure. I kind of took a break from Marvel for a bit because I was finishing up college. So then my brother is like, "Hey, uh, I got a, I got a ticket for Endgame. You want to come with us?" I was like, "Oh yeah, sure. When are we going? Tomorrow." So then I pull an all nighter and I'm gonna watch all these Marvel movies I missed. So I watched Black Panther, um, Ant Man and Wasp, Spider Man Homecoming, uh, Avengers. Uh, Infinity War. War. Yeah. And then I went to go see Captain Marvel in theaters. Oh. <laughs> without All without sleeping. That's a lot. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. I watched... I didn't watch Ant-Man and Wasp. Ant-Man and Wasp was my last movie I watched, which kind of worked in a way. Pickles. What happened? What'd you drop? Uh, just the outlet. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so I watched Ant-Man and Wasp as my last one. And you know what's funny? I tried staying up watching it, but I was almost... I was, like, on the verge of falling asleep. Sure. But it's a good thing I did because, like, it... Because Ant Man Wasp came out after Infinity War. Yeah. Ant Man Wasp was okay. It wasn't the best. You know, it's a it's it improves on the first one, but it's. You know, the first one could have been better if Edgar Wright actually directed it. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm, right. I'm sad he did not direct it. Uh, I mean, even if he had, I don't think it would have looked the way. It would have looked like, a little better. I think they would have wanted. They would have wanted so many changes, so I don't think it would have been Edgar Wright. But hey, guess what? He went out to do Baby Driver, which is a good movie. Mm-hmm. That's true. Somebody said on a on Facebook one time, like there was a meme that said, "What would be the white version of Wakanda?" Like somebody wrote Wrigleyville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. That's, that's about, about right. right. So then, so then, who's, who's, who's the white version of the white of the Black Panther? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I don't know. Whoever's the drunkest person leaving the drunkest like, the person water. leaving them. <laughs> uh, the power has the been most, so long. Whoever the most, doesn't throw up. The most wasted. William, life William H Macy's character on Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> no, that no, he no, he would. He's been the South Side. He'd be a Sox fan. That is true. <laughs> Although I, I've never seen Shameless. Shameless ended recently. It did. But uh, my sister loves the original one. The British one? Yeah. I, I watched it with her. It's pretty entertaining. Like, better than the American one? Yeah. That's what my sister told me. She said she likes the uh, British one a lot more than the American one. Well, you know what? One. Fuck the British version. What's funny is the guy who did the British one <laughs> was involved with adapting it to the American one. Yeah, I know. Paul Abbott. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He was involved with that. I wonder how it ends. I, I really hope it gets I on Netflix I forgot how soon. it ends. I wonder... Do you know how it ends? No, I Don't do not. I wonder if Emmy Rossum returned for the finale. Oh, I'm sure she does. I hope so. They're not going to have the finale and not have Emmy Rossum return. Dude, it still surprised me with that 70s show when Topher Grace came back for the finale. I was like, That's Topher awesome. Grace. Because, like, he didn't, like, you know, he wasn't as close with everyone. Dude, that 70s show I can never go back to, though. Dude, I can't, dude, that show is actually, like, Especially with rapey. what happened to Danny, uh, what's his face? Danny. Sniff. He, yeah, this, yeah. This, this ghost name is Boo Hoo. That's funny. Danny, Danny, Mather- Danny Matherson. Mm-hmm. Or Danny. 
Ooh, that, oh my fucking god. <laughs> that ghost that ghost name was uh, Boo Hoo. No no no. Do you hey. ever, no, no, no hey. I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> Do you ever watch that se- you watch that seventy show, rewatch it, you'll see kind of how like sexist it is? Yeah, it actually is kind of sexist. Like there's an episode where where high where um Kelso and Fez go to like the supermarket to quote unquote pick up milfs. Mm-hmm. And then... <laughs> I like that you a, say that sounds like something milfs. Austin would do. Is so that then... is that where you find your local milfs? <laughs> yeah, I go to the local I, shop. I, I go to the Whole Foods. I pick up my produce and my milfs. You remember that guy, the the pickup artist? Yeah, I go to the Whole Foods. To pick up some bitches. Pick up some <laughs> pick up bitches. There was a meme one time where, like, it was a Home Depot employee walking up to someone, and then the woman asked, do you work here? And then he says, no, I wear the apron just to pick up bitches. <laughs> but I know where you can find your, your clothes. It's in aisle 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know where you can find that pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what, was I, what was I talking Oh, no. So, Kelso and Fez go to, like, the local supermarket, so Kelso can teach Fez how to pick up MILFs. <laughs> uh-huh. And they yeah. see, like, a, a, a mom, like, bending over, like... Picking something, and then he's like, "Yo, Kelso, go and your Kelso's like the Fez. Yo, go grab her ass." Oh, he's like, no. "I'm afraid. I don't know if I'm brave enough to do it." And then he's like, "I'll show you. I'll do it." Kelso just goes goes up, and it's uh... just rips right into this woman's ass, and it turns out to be Kitty. Yeah, I remember. Oh. And then at the very end of the episode, when she confronts Kelso and Fez, she she like confronts them and shit. And at the end, she's like, "But just so, but uh, just thought I'd also say thank you very much." Oh, she was right. thanking them for grabbing her ass. Yeah. Uh, that would not. Nice that ass. would not fly well it's on just TV like, today. This is, that's pretty fucking sexist. Man. It would not play well on TV. What was Katie's reaction when she saw? Oh, that? I just told Katie about it because I was like rewatching it because I was pretty bored. sure she would have been like, yeah. And I'm like, yo, but sexism though. <laughs> <laughs> yo, babe, sexism though, right? He's like, yo. Now get back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, I wonder, I wonder if Katie though. would slap you if you said that. <laughs> Like, yo, I think I became a feminism. <laughs> I think I became a feminism. I became a feminism. <laughs> Not a feminist, enti- a feminism. No, no, a, the entire genre. <laughs> the entire genre of feminism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I became. I became a feminism. 